United States Department of Energy's Office of Science uh, recently um, were very, very forward thinking in terms of what needed to be done in the 20th century and they uh, had a series of workshops uh, that led up to one uh, which was on um, electrical energy storage where they identified the need for breakthrough technologies as opposed to incremental technologies and lithium air was clearly in that report uh, that uh, was recently issued. Well I see the challenges more than scientific. Um, I think they're scientific and engineering uh, on the scientific side. We have uh, huge problems in terms of the materials that are going to be used in lithium air, for example, metallic lithium, uh, uh, flammable electrolytes that have to be replaced. So there's a materials element to that. And then there's also the design and managing how to cope with an air electrode, which is essentially oxygen, and making sure that the oxygen makes contact with uh, the components in the cell. It's, a, it, it, it's going to be a tough problem both from the science and the engineering standpoint. Well, the safety issues of lithium ion and lithium air are uh, comparable. Uh, in fact, lithium air might be worse if we cannot find a non-flammable electrolyte. We know that if you recharge lithium electrodes, uh, they become highly reactive uh, with respect to the electrolyte. Because of all the uh, technological and scientific problems uh, associated with a lithium air cell, I think it's going to be at least a decade or two before we get anywhere close to uh, the market. Argon is ideally positioned to make a major contribution to lithium air and uh, we've already initiated a program in this area and we brought a team of scientists from across the lab that include uh, material scientists, physicists, chemists, um, theory, uh, people, engineers, all to tackle the, uh, the problems of lithium air.